Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, I am here to do a Rose Girls haul. This was her ready to ship that she had January 28th for mini melters, and she had a big kahuna box as available. I did pick up a kahuna box, and I picked up mini melters. But first and foremost, let's talk about my, sa my sample. A hair tie. I'm just going to state my opinion. When you're ordering wax, it's nice to get a sample. If you're ordering wax, the sample should be wax. I don't think it should be candy. I don't think it should be stickers. And I really don't think it should be a hair tie. Especially for a guy. A pink llama hair tie. I'll get off my soapbox on that one. That's all I have to say. So let's get into the video. First up, we will start with my Big Kahuna box. Now, I did place the orders together, but they did ship separately. So I have my Big Kahuna box here. It shipped in a regional rate A box. And we knew that they were going to include a scoopable and a half pie from the Mario pre-order, which I will first start with the half pie, and mine is in Metal Mario, and this is Stainless Steel and Seductive Quiet Man. I know Danny loves this scent, so I was curious to get it. It's very masculine. Definitely, like, not my vibe. I mean, it, it smells like a very clean man. I even detect a tiny bit of shaving cream in here. I don't know if it's like the Seductive Quiet Man blend. But yeah, it's just a very, very clean man smell. Not my favorite, not my favorite scent, but I have a whole half pie in it, so I'll definitely check it out, and it's a mystery box, so I can't be upset. Now this guy... I think this is the smallest scoopable I've ever seen in my entire life. I know it's a four ounce, but oh my gosh, I could stick this little guy in my pocket. Like, look how teensy that is. And this is from Scoopable Tart Wax, which if you're unfamiliar, it is Jenny's mother, Kathy, runs Scoopable Tart Wax, and it is Scoopable Wax. Now, one thing is, she did just have a pre-order open February 1st and 2nd. I had a list. I decided... Because I ordered this Kahuna box, I was not going to participate, only because I don't like scoops. I've talked about it before, I'm not a fan of scoopable wax, because I use the freezer method when it comes to cleaning out my warmers 90% of the time. Scoopable wax doesn't come out of the freezer. I have seen people talk about, in her Facebook group, using scoopable wax to, they using the freezer method to get out scoopable wax. So... I was like, there's a scoopable in my pre-order, or in my kahuna box. I'm going to try this out. If it works, great. If it doesn't, I have no desire to buy them. This is in berry whipped cream. So it is raspberry sauce, whipped cream, blueberry cobbler, and pie crust. I definitely pick up on raspberry sauce right away. And if you warm up the oil, like at the top, you'll get like the more, more scent. Yeah. Blueberry cobbler, raspberry sauce, whipped cream, and pie crust. I really just get raspberry sauce super, super strong with, like, a hint of that blueberry. Yeah. So as soon as the low-buy collab is over, I, um, I'm going to test this out and see how it works. And if I order. The rest of this box is all mini melters. There's, like, two random shapes, which I guess I'll start with that. The first one is is a snowflake and it is in cherry pina colada. I don't like coconut scents and I don't like cherry scents. And I don't like this. It smells just like a cherry pina colada. So if you're a fan of tropical, there's one for you. And then the other shape that I got is strawberry lavender sweater weather and it's in like a little present. Now this scent you obviously get the sweater weather first and foremost because sweater weather is such a strong fragrance. And 
as I like pull the bag away from my nose, I get a hint of strawberry. I don't, I can't tell if it's fresh picked strawberry, strawberry jam, which strawberry it is. But yeah, it's okay. It's not a favorite either. There's really not anything that I'm super excited about in my kahuna, I will say that. I got four little cubes of coconut butter mint monster cookies. Again, not a super fan of coconut, but this really just smells like a butter mint cookie. I don't smell really any coconut, which is okay. Yeah, I just smell a little bit of um, butter mint. So that one's a nice one. Next, we have Watermelon Zen. There's like six cubes in here. Now, this is super interesting because her Zen is a very like clean spa-like scent. Mixed with watermelon, this is a very candied watermelon. Very Jolly Rancher. Mixed with the Zen, it kind of smells like if you're going to a spa and they have like a watermelon shower gel, like a natural shower gel line, sort of. I can't really picture it. It just smells like a very spa-like watermelon, but the watermelon is candy-like. It's very hard to find a watermelon that's not candy-like. This one is Apple Puff Pumpkin Pie Vanilla Crunch Donut. This has a very strong, like, pumpkin, pumpkin note. Which is interesting because her pumpkin pie really doesn't smell, like, I have many melters of it. It does not smell like this. I don't know what the pumpkin pie oil is. And I don't know if maybe the apple puff is bringing out the pumpkin but to me it smells like a very 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 pumpkin-y pumpkin pie like very pumpkin-y pumpkin pie so this will be nice in like july when i'm ready for fall scents next we have cranberry lodge now this one it smells just like a spiced cranberry like if you think of like cranberry chutney or like cranberry woods but with like a hint of like clove. So a little bit more spiced. It's yummy. A lot of these are fall scents. This one, strawberry soda. Did somebody say frosting and kiwi? Now this is very interesting. I don't see kiwi a lot in wax, but after smelling this, I really, really hope to see more kiwi in wax. This is so fruity, so sweet, and I think I mean, strawberry soda, candy, syrupy, sweet, fizzy. Did somebody say frosting, ooey gooey, or ooey gooey, like super sweet frosting, and then kiwi, sweet and fruity. Yeah, it is so sweet. If anybody got this in their kahuna or has had it before, I really like that. I really like it. It's one of my favorites from, oh, from the box. Then we have a Mario Melter in Birdo's Magical Cupcake Land. And I think this is strawberry, raspberry sauce, strawberry jam, and cupcakes, or like birthday cake. It definitely smells like a raspberry cupcake, 100%. Like a very, very raspberry cupcake. It's yummy. Um, yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be nice to melt in, um, like, in the summer. Then we have Cotton Candy Clothes on the Line. These little guys are gonna be super hard to melt. Like, I'll have to put this in the bathroom because it's not enough to do, like, all my warmers. That's why I don't know why I even order these boxes. It's just super sweet laundry. I think I actually have this in a sampler, in the Clothes on the Line sampler. I'll be doing that for Rose Girls Week. Yes, my next vendor week is Rose Girls. This one is another Mario Melter, Cheap Cheap Sleep. This is like a powdery lavender, like a like a baby, like baby powder mixed with lavender. Not a fan. I'll melt it like at night just to see like this cube. I'll probably cut in half to two warmers. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. I know a lot of people talk about this. This is like leaves, marshmallow smoothie, and vanilla sandalwood. I think. 
Mm -mm. I don't care for it. It's very, very like crunchy leaf set. I don't, I don't know. The blend is just not, not there for me. Lattes with ghoul friends. I really like this. This is, oh. Sliced. Well, I have to rebag this one. I'll just add this to my mini melter bags. Yeah, I love this. This is like, is this the um, pumpkin cinnamon sugared like latte? I don't remember exactly, but that's a good one. Warp Zone. I did like quick sniff all of these. Ugh, I don't like this. Is this like peppermint cupcake? I think something like that. Mm. The peppermint in here is like nose clearing peppermint. For me, like when you mix nose clearing peppermint, it needs to be with like more natural like fragrances. I feel like you can't mix nose clearing peppermint with bakery. It just like throws it off. Cashmere and teak wood. I promise I'll get more energy in the mini melters video, um, or like the mini melters part. I'm just not a fan of the box. And for ninety dollars, no. This just smells like like a clean body wash, like a men's body wash. This one is soothing lavender dreams. This one's just strange. It's like lavender and zucchini bread. Yeah, it's again, it's like mixing bedtime, like a bedtime bath with zucchini bread. Something zucchini bread just should not be blended with. And then oatmeal ice cream cake. I think this one is like... I just learned that oatmeal cookies is not my favorite. It's just too spicy. Yeah, it's like too cinnamony. So for $90... I'm very disappointed in the box. Um, I just definitely think Rose Girl samplers are not for me. I think I just need to stick with what I know I like from Rose Girls. Um, Rose Girls Week will definitely um, be eye-opening for me to see what the throw is like. But yeah, not a fan of the Kahuna at all, honestly. Like, it just, it wasn't, it wasn't really worth $90 to me for sure, but... The mini melters that I did order, I'm actually really happy with. So, let me put this stuff away and get back with you. There's only like one or two that I'm not super, super um, in love with. But for the most part, these are some great, great scents. The first one I have is Rosemary Mint Marshmallow Smoothie. This is one, I honestly don't know why I ordered it. I was like, oh, that sounds good. And then I realized I don't love Rosemary Mint. Like, I don't hate Rosemary Mint, but like... It's one that I can, like, take it or leave it. I think I got this maybe for, like, my bathroom. But, yeah. So, it definitely smells like rosemary mint. Just a little bit more sweet with marshmallow smoothie. Which I also think is a very interesting, like, combo. But, yeah. It's okay. The next one is Serendipity Florida Key Lime Pie and Gilligan's Brew. I was debating between getting this one and then the other Key Lime one that she had offered. I ended up going with this one because I love her Star of Wonder, Star of Night, which is Serendipity. Now, this is super interesting. Key Lime Pie, basically non-existent. Serendipity, which is like a coconut cream and cherry, which you know I'm not a fan of cherry scents, but... Mixed with the creamy coconut, it really works. And Gilligan's Brew is like one of her like signature secret like coconut blends. And honestly, it kind of like the Gilligan's Brew like cancels out the cherry note of the Serendipity. I don't smell any key lime pie. It just smells like a very creamy, like a coconut custard. So really impressed with this one. I do wish there was a little bit more key lime in it, but I always want more key lime pie in the scent. But I do really, really like that one. Next one is Mama Bear Paws. Now this is Dunk My Donut, Birthday Cake, and Bear Paws. And what I am assuming this is like is a, um, I smell it, I know what it's like, but and this smells just like a bear claw. You know those desserts, they're like pastries filled with like cinnamon, sugar, deliciousness, and then they have glaze on them with like walnuts. Smells exactly like it. It's a super sweet 
Ooey Gooey Bakery. So if you don't like super sweet Ooey Gooey Bakery, you're not going to like this. But yeah, it's a very super sweet, cinnamony, sugary deliciousness. Next we have Night Shift. And this is Espresso French Vanilla Latte Cookie Land. And I've had this before. I love this. I love coffee blends, though. Coffee blends just make me so happy. And typically they perform really well. You smell the espresso, 100%. And the French Vanilla Latte makes it a little bit more creamy. But then the Cookie Land, which is like toffee butterscotch pretzels, cookies, like that type... It adds this like sweetness, a little bit salty, a little bit savory, deliciousness. Mm. Such a good coffee scent. And like, I hear there's a lot of controversy with the bags this time. I definitely feel this one's like a really thin, but none of mine so far from like quick glance are ripped. So that's good. I did order a few strawberry blends. This one is Strawberry Pound Cake Fluff Puffs. I always forget what her fluff puffs is, but... Whatever it is, I pick up on it because this is a very good strawberry pound cake one. Yeah, I smell strawberry pound cake, but the fluff puff adds this like marshmallowy sweet deliciousness to the scent. Oh, so good. So good, so yummy. Oh, should I do the strawberries and see if I can find all of them? Yep. Strawberry shortcake. I ordered this one because I think I remember having it years ago. Not 100% sure if I remember, but and then I heard some people say it kind of smells like plasticky. I don't think so. I definitely think it smells artificial strawberry, but it's that artificial strawberry I love. I love all things strawberry, and this is like fruity, fresh strawberries, but I don't get like shortcake. Like I don't smell whipped cream or like a bakery cake, you know? It's still really yummy. It's like a very juicy, juicy strawberry. All these melters. I have so many. Um, I think I have one more strawberry. Maybe not. Mm, yes, I do. I thought I did. Strawberry streusel kuchen. I hope that she offers streusel kuchen or kuchen, whatever it is, again. And that's like her signature secret like coffee cake blend. It doesn't have coffee in it. It's just like the cinnamon sugary cake. Mixed with strawberry. Uh-huh. And this is like a fresh picked strawberry. You can definitely smell the sweetness of the strawberry mixed with the cookie. I'm very excited. I'm, I'm excited and I'm like a little bit like nervous for my Rose Girls week only because so many people get such hit or miss from Rose Girls and I'm hoping I'm melting some of my older stuff during that week. Like I already have the basket picked. Um... I'm hoping that it performs for me. And I also got a bunch of hot plate warmers that I'm gonna test in, cause the Scentsy warmers are just not working for vendor wax with me, I found. White chocolate raspberry truffle donuts. This was a new blend, and I know Lexi and I both ordered this because she was super excited about it. I was indifferent, like, but I did wanna try it. It's not super donut-y. It's very bright raspberry, which is okay. I just, I'm not getting any donut. I'm getting a white chocolate raspberry, which sounds absolutely delicious. I do enjoy white chocolate and raspberry. Love raspberry. This had my attention the second I saw it. Alice is lost in the forest. And you know why, right? So this is honeydew and cotton candy frosting. That's her Alice in Wonderland scent. I love honeydew. And with the cotton candy frosting, it just makes it super sweet. Palo Santo and Fraser fur. Not the biggest on Fraser Fur, but I know mixed with Palo Santo and those sweet scents. Yeah, this is so good. I will say, 100% Alice first. Rich, fresh honeydew, and this smells just like real honeydew. Like you sliced into that bright green fruit, 100% honeydew. And then mixed with the cotton candy, the Palo Santo and Fraser Fur. I feel like we're just like one droplet in the oil. I really don't pick them up, but this is probably freshly poured. Um, yeah, so I'm excited on that one. I just don't get those notes. The next is Jumping on Pistachio Clouds. 
I love pistachio. But, now this is what I will say. I love pistachio. I love this. This, honestly, just smells like pistachio ice cream. Pistachio cake, pistachio pudding cake, all those, like, there's no real indifference. I do have in Mini Melters pistachio. I can't reach because it's right back here, but I do have just plain pistachio, so I'll have to compare the two. I mean, it smells very, very similar, but pistachio is something, if I do melt it too much, I will, like, get super sick of it, so I want to make sure that I melt it in doses. I do have a lot of it, though. Next is poolside, and if I remember correctly, it's, like, fluffy towels, salty sea air, and blackberry, and yes, I know Charity uh, talked about this in her video. It is frustrating, like, it says poolside here. And then there's a huge gap. Why are there not scent notes on it when clearly it's possible to put scent notes on a scent? I don't understand why half of them do and half of them don't. That is feedback. And, you know, as a vendor, Jenny should take the feedback and, you know, implement it. Like, what, I understand no poor dates. Fine. I just date them when, when I get them in anyway. But um, I would love to see scent notes on things. This is nice. This is a very fresh, fresh, clean, like, it smells like you're poolside. Drinking, like, a blueberry, or like a blackberry, like a fizzy, but not, not fizzy, a fruity drink. There's no fizz. Yeah. And I need to order Salty Sea Air on its own. Lexi's rolling her eyes right now. I can already hear her and see her through the camera. She's not really here. I'm just saying in theory because she just does not like Salty Sea Air, and I just feel like I just don't have enough experience with it, but I seem to like it. I have two bags of Banana Boom Boom. It's the only one that I ordered, um, that I ordered two of, and it drives me crazy. It's pronounced Boom Boom. The founder of Sol de Janeiro has done interviews. You go to Sephora, like, it's pronounced Boom Boom. It's not Bum Bum. It's Boom Boom. And this is mixed with banana. And if you're unfamiliar with Boom Boom, it's like a, it's like, again, like a pistachio caramel. This is 100% Laffy Taffy banana. And I'm not mad at it. This is one that I feel like people either love or hate because that, pista that pistachio, that banana is so prevalent in here. But it's like Laffy Taffy banana. And the Boom Boom just makes it super sweet. I love, love. Happy I have two bags of that. Meant to be. This just sounded like such a good fruity scent. Do you feel like fruity cocktail scents, like, you can literally blend any fruit together and it's going to smell good? So, like, you have to just know what fruits you want to blend together. So, meant to be is blackberry, fresh picked strawberries, and mango. See? Scent notes. Not hard to do. I love mango, I love fresh picked strawberry, and blackberry is so yummy. And you can, it's like 33.3% on each. Oh, it's so good. Mango is so juicy, so just sweet and decadent when you smell it. Fresh picked strawberry, always a winner, such a happy scent. And then blackberry, sweet and juicy, love, such a winner. I didn't realize, well, I did realize I ordered more, but I have so much of this, and I think it's because I have no half pies. I just want to order it all the time. Fire Mario. This is like espresso vanilla crunch donuts. The espresso bean, it's espresso bean, smells like a legit espresso bean, like a chocolate-covered espresso bean. 100%. Like, you can honestly smell the freshness right off the coffee tree. If you like strong, real coffee scents, Fire Mario, blow you out of the house. Speechless Sorbet is the next one. I know, shoot me at the steak. I've never tried Speechless on its own. I want to. As soon as she offers Speechless on its own, I'm ordering it 100%. I know she had a Speechless sampler. I missed out on it. And all I know is people say, Speechless, you only smell Speechless in like every blend. So this is Speechless and Mango Sorbet. I love this. Speechless is like what? Coastal Kale, Satsuma, and something else. This just smells like a very fruity Satsuma. Like, I can tell there's mango in here because I've smelled so many mangoes over the years that I know what the mango scent smells like. 
And you can detect it with that Speechless. I think so, 100%. But you smell Satsuma. I need to try Speechless on its own. Because I really like this. This is, another, this is the other one that I'm like, why did I add this to my cart? Chocolate chip cookies with cream cheese frosting. Chocolate chip cookie, for me, I think is just like so randomly basic. I don't know why I ordered it. But it just smells like brownie batter. Like, it smells like brownie batter with cream cheese frosting. I don't think it smells like chocolate chip cookies, necessarily. But this will be a nice one when I'm like, I don't know what to melt, but I'm going to be home all day. I think it'll be nice to melt when I'm like, oh, it literally smells like a bakery in here. Who knows? It might be the one that I love the most. Luke's Diner. If you love Gilmore Girls, you know Luke's Diner. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Absolute Coffee, Vanilla Crunch Donuts, and Pancakes. Such a good Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. That's what you get first and foremost. And then you get a little bit of Absolute Coffee and like that yeasty donut. Oh, such a good one. I love, I, there's not a Pumpkin Pecan Waffles blend I do not like. Unless you blend it with cherry. Or Nog Champa. Could you imagine pumpkin pecan waffles and Nog Champa? Nasty. Lemon poppy seed cream filled donut. Now this one, I was very, like, interesting. Because I love lemon bakery. And interesting it is. It's very interesting. I don't necessarily think poppy seeds have a smell. But it's not a very heavy lemon bakery. But it's not clean or lemon. It's definitely lemon bakery, but it's not heavy. Like, I feel like whatever the dessert is, lemon poppy seed cream filled donuts. Whatever this is, if you eat it, I feel like you could eat it and not feel like, oh, I just ate like a giant dessert. It's a very fresh lemon. I, it's hard to describe it. It's really good. I really like how fresh it is without being like overpowering. And then last but not least is Angels Among Us, and this is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, Strawberry Shortcake, and Saltwater Taffy. I love Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, and that is so, mmm. And I smell that, and now that I've smelled Strawberry Shortcake on its own, I smell them both, and I love them both. They smell so yummy. Yeah, oh, such a good one. Strawberry, Blackberry, Bakery, goodness. All right, that was my haul. I don't want you guys to think super negatively because I'm honest in my reviews. Um, I do like Rose Girls. I like her blends. Um, she is doing a really good job of being more active in her Facebook group this time. So I know that she's definitely listening to the feedback. She might not address it, but she is changing it. So I'm hoping ripped bags. Um, I only had the one, but rip bags and uh, sent notes like you know take requests like she's listening so i give so many props to jenny for that this it's hard to run a company and price adjustments and or like price raises like it can be really stressful and i don't ever want to be a vendor i don't want to be on that side of it and i just know that like you know, there's a difference between criticism and giving feedback. Um, I get feedback on my job every single day. It's not a good thing to feel. But at the end of the day, like, you know, we're spending the money. Like, just, you know, make the customers happy. And, like, I also... The customer's always right has a fine line. So I'm not going to say the customer's always right. But I will say that, like... We love scent notes. We want scent notes. You know, we don't get poor dates. Okay. But we do love scent notes. It just makes it so nice to be able to pick it out and see what it's in it. And when half of them do and half of them don't without an, a rhyme or reason. Like, I get fresh picked strawberry. That doesn't need a scent note. But, like, some scents need scent notes. So I would love to see that in the future. I would love to see chunks come back in the future. I have some things that I would definitely like. And also... Check out Lexi's Chop and Chat video. I know she wants you guys to ask her questions to, you know, bring to vendors. So definitely, you know, take take the time to watch her video. I actually link that direct video down below. Definitely subscribe to her if you don't. She's an amazing human being. Um, she's a little geograph geographically challenged. She thinks that I live in Pittsburgh and I live by the Liberty Bell, which is in Philadelphia. Comment below if you thought that the Liberty Bell was in Pittsburgh too or 
vice versa. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell in the corner. That way you're alerted every time I upload. And if you see me like doing this with my shoulder lately in my videos, I fell so hard on ice yesterday and I have a fractured like a bruised rotator cuff and it hurts so bad. I was like even lifting this box like I can't lift this arm like past here without being in tremendous pain. Like I have to actually like pick this arm up with my hand and like if I let go like it really just it hurts. So oh ice got me but anyway Thank you guys so much. I love you so much. You matter. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.